Dear Josephites, Greetings on our 73rd Republic Day. I have been asked to talk to you today about what it means to be a soldier. Well, I thought about it and it occurred to me that being a soldier is a lot like being a Josephite. It's a privilege and honor that not everybody is fortunate to have. But more on that later. I'm not going to talk to you about any big issues like national security or territorial integrity or the role of the armed forces. What I'd like to do in the next few minutes is give you an insight into the Indian Army from my perspective. I've often been asked that if I could set the clock back, would I again choose a life in uniform? The honest answer? Is yes. When I look back over the last 37 years of my life in the army, I can say with a fair degree of confidence that I made the right choice. Why? There are a number of reasons, but to me, the most important one is the men. Now, the Indian soldier is among the finest, if not the finest soldier in the world. It's a big statement but I stand by it. Being given an opportunity to work with our soldiers, interact with them and even lead them has to me been a humbling and exhilarating experience. If you win the trust and confidence of our soldiers, they will follow you anywhere. They will do anything you ask them and lay down their lives without hesitation. And do remember, dear students, the Indian Army has and continues to be a very operationally active army. And then, of course, there is that feeling of belonging to one big family called the Indian Army. And that wherever you go or whoever you are, someone has your back, literally and figuratively. So from the jungles of Arunachal Pradesh to the deserts of Rajasthan, you are never really alone. And that's a wonderfully reassuring feeling. Boredom. I've often heard people say that my job is boring. I've never really experienced that. Because if there's one thing in the army is that change is the only constant. You get to go and live in places, some of which you've never even heard of. You get to meet a wide variety of people. And your job profile is constantly changing and evolving. Personally speaking, I have been to places and seen things that money can't buy. In the army, you're always on the move and there is no time to get bored. Of course, there are challenges, big challenges. Long separations from home, very difficult working conditions and most important of all, you are responsible through your decisions and actions for the lives of your troops. But let me tell you dear students, once you join this organization, wear this uniform and stand in front of your soldiers, there is no challenge that seems impossible. And this is when I come back to good old St. Joseph's. Honesty, fair play, a strong sense of justice and most important, knowing right from wrong are just some of the qualities and values a soldier and a Josephite share. I have no hesitation in saying that if it had not been for our school, I would not be here today. Dear students, the values which our school imparts may not be apparent to you right now. But once you go out into the world outside, you will find it is these values that will act like life rafts in a stormy sea. Never let go of them. Now, uh, something about Republic Day. Republic Day signifies that uh, India is independent. 
unique and ready to take her place in the global order. But there are a large number of challenges in our path. And to me, two of the biggest challenges are dealing with the changes that technology is going to bring and also understanding the impact of climate change. And dear students, you are going to be leading the army that is going to take on these challenges. These challenges require people with a strong value system, nimble minds and who are not afraid of change. You have the minds and the qualities, so get ready to use them. I would like to thank the principal for giving me this opportunity to speak to you all on this very special day. It's a huge honor. And in conclusion, all I want to say is that you don't need a uniform or a weapon to make a difference. You just have to be a Josephite. Jai.